Diablo 3 is a game that needs absolutely no introduction. The fact that you're even watching this video means you've probably at least heard of the franchise, if not already played one of its lauded installments on the PC. For the uninitiated few, Diablo 3 is an isometric dungeon crawler featuring randomized dungeons and loot stretched across a sprawling fantasy epic. It marks a continued refinement of the franchise's long-praised loot and grind gameplay, and is currently the world record holder for fastest selling PC game of all time. Apparently it's pretty good. In ending their 16-year hiatus from console development, Blizzard very clearly has paid a lot of attention in making what is usually considered a PC-centric style of game work as well, if not better, with a gamepad. While the PC version isn't lacking in excitement, having direct control over your character brings a greater sense of immediacy to your actions that relying on mouse clicks and the number row on your keyboard just seems to lack. It pushes the game closer to something resembling a character action title like Devil May Cry, rather than a point-and-click action RPG. Spells are conveniently assigned to controller face buttons and are displayed clearly below your character's status area, similar to the PC version's hotbar. Loot, spells, and vendor activities like crafting and selling are done using easily navigated, if not a little crowded, wheel and tab style menus that recall the equally impressive console port of Torchlight on the Xbox 360. Since the console version of Diablo 3 lacks the precision of mouse control and must scale to typically larger living room TV displays, these menus understandably take up the entirety of the screen. When playing co-op locally, this presents a minor inconvenience of having to wait for your partners to conduct their business before doing the same. However, it does give a nice opportunity to discuss equipment and tactical decisions before moving on to your next objective. There is no split-screen support, so in local co-op all characters are forced to occupy the same screen. This rarely presents an issue, but does give rise to an annoying and seemingly arbitrary teleportation of one character to the location of another. Thankfully, the game seems a little more forgiving during combat, allowing players to be further apart than they normally would otherwise. Additionally, characters left standing still whilst another moves around the game world will sort of lazily follow along, allowing gameplay to go uninterrupted due to someone putting the controller down momentarily. On the normal and hard difficulties, the intensity and pace of Diablo 3 is easy enough that playing with less skilled gamers rarely is a problem. Managing things such as the Fury, Mana, and Hatred resource pools is easy enough given the large on-screen meters and verbal cues from the adventurers themselves. More fury. While the Barbarian class is probably the easiest to pick up and play due to a focus on survivability and simpler hack and slash combat style, Diablo 3 never becomes so demanding on lower difficulties that any one class should prove too much of a challenge, regardless of skill level. Of note is how classes like the Witch Doctor change when going from mouse to gamepad control. You do relinquish the ability to exactly target AoE spells like Grasp of the Dead, instead casting it under whichever enemy is currently targeted, but like every other change made for the console release, this is rarely an issue. Diablo 3 is the kind of game that gives out as much as you put into it. The story is threadbare and mostly serves to provide context to your actions, otherwise it is rather inconsequential in terms of extracting enjoyment out of the game. The main reason to play comes from the explosive visuals of the combat, the constant pursuit of shinier and more powerful gear, and the camaraderie of playing with others. So while the totality of Diablo 3's nearly endless amount of content might wear thin for non-gamers before you've even tackled the Butcher, you'll have easily gotten several hours worth of co-op enjoyment just from the first chapter alone. Diablo 3 is currently available as a console release on both the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3, and will be released with the forthcoming Reaper of Souls expansion on the PlayStation 4 sometime in 2014. So Ashley, this time we're uh, taking a look at Diablo 3, the console mm -hmm. port of the uh, highly acclaimed PC game. Yes. Uh, you and I have been playing the PS3 version on our couch over there. Yeah. Uh, I've been having a really good time playing with you. Yes. It's, it's a really fun co-op game. A lot of games with co-op modes uh, tend to make assumptions about the players, mm. usually in the direction of you are both accomplished video game players. Um, so you have to handle a lot of stuff that as a, uh, uh, a non-gamer Mm -hmm. or a less skilled gamer you, you're not used to contending with. Mm -hmm. um, but with the way Blizzard has set up their controls, the kind of direct control stuff they've got, the, the new Evade role they have just for the console version, um, I mean, pushing the stick in a direction, the guy goes that direction, you hit the buttons, stuff dies, stuff blows up. It's it's awesome. What do you mm -hmm. think of it? I loved it. It was so much fun, so satisfying to play. Um, I picked up the Barbarian, and, and I had a blast. So with games like this, the, the loot and grind stuff, with their roots in, in the PC... Mm -hmm. uh, games like that tend to be a little more complicated with the mechanics, okay. with the numbers, with the math, with the plus strength, mm -hmm. plus dexterity of the bear, focused, all, yeah. 
all that stuff. Um, it was a lot. There is a lot to like kind of figure out, but because when you manage your loot, um, it takes up the whole screen. You have to take turns, so yeah. it does take some extra time. In in local co-op only. In yeah, okay, yeah. Um, but it was great for me because you were able to teach me everything I needed. Yeah. What what aspects were best for my character? What I wanted, like what I wanted, what I didn't want. I got to learn without having to stop the game at all. We didn't have yeah. to pause for anything to be explained. Uh, I mean, I'm a firm believer that no game is perfect. Every game has a flaw or two. Yeah. Uh, like you said, the menu thing's one. The other is that weird teleportation thing yeah. that happens where, you know, you're off in a corner smashing the crap out of some temple that's thousands of years old and probably really important to somebody. <laughs> but because there are bookcases and lecterns mm -hmm. and, and and stone railings to be hit. To be blown up. They're going to yeah. get hit and, and smashed up. Yes. Um. But the teleportation thing will sometimes just beam me over there for no reason. <laughs> so let's bullet list this for the people. Let's okay. let's let's give them the back of the box thing. We like the uh, we like the direct control. Mm -hmm. You know, you push the stick in the direction, the guy goes that direction. You go and start doing work. So easy. Throw the hammers, mm -hmm. throw the rapid fire. In that same vein, easy to pick up and play. Easy. All so the classes easy. are, are kind of complementary. You know, mm -hmm. I'm in the back as a demon hunter. You're up front as the barbarian. That's what I like. I mean, that's obviously by design. And then, of course, with a game of this type, loot, 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 explosions. <laughs> yeah. You know, gold uh, popping out of bodies, everything. stuff falling out of bookcases. Piles you know, of rocks. Giant butchers <laughs> exploding into colors. <laughs> yeah. Uh, which goes hand in hand with the game just looks good. And I yes. know PC guys, I'm a PC guy. I know it looked good last year. It's looked, or two years ago. Mm -hmm. It's looked good for a year and a half. It looks good now. Um... But when you just, you press a button, something explodes, something dies, and you do that a dozen times mm -hmm. in a dozen seconds. Yeah. It just looks gorgeous. The game is totally awesome. Oh, it's great. So easy to play. So much fun. Yeah. But I mean, in the same the same vein, so we do have to list the cons. Yeah. The menu thing's kind of a, it's a little bit of a thing. It's, yeah. it's not a deal breaker, but no. you have to take turns. It works and if, for me. And if you're really in the moment, you're really like, let's go and get more yeah. stuff. It is kind of, it does kind of put the brakes on things a little bit. A little bit. bit. But that does go with the kind of game that it is. Yeah. And the teleportation thing. Just kind of random. Weird. I, I don't see the purpose of it. Yeah. But again, total nitpicks in a yeah. sea of otherwise total awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, if you got thumbs and you got a console, uh, buy Diablo 3. Don't hesitate. So much fun.